Hello? Hi, um, my name is Kuba and I'm from Apple and I will be talking about Thread Sanitizer APIs for external libraries. So Thread Sanitizer is a data rate detector that is based on LLVM IR instrumentation. So what we do is that we instrument memory reads and writes and also atomic operations like atomic loads, atomic stores, etc. And at runtime, if your program has multiple threads, the threads will generate events which all go into a happens before data rate detector. And those events, again, are memory reads, memory writes, and synchronization events, which is pretty much all we need to be able to detect data races. So when we do, that's a bug, because there's no such thing as a benign race, of course. And we will display a report about the bug, most importantly, including the locations of the two racy memory accesses. So that all works pretty well, and it's widely used. There's, however, some drawbacks with respect to libraries and frameworks. Oftentimes, you are forced to use some pre-compiled code that is not instrumented, perhaps because it's a system library or some third-party code. Um, so, which means that we cannot find bugs in that code. So if you have an instrumented executable that calls an API in a library that is not instrumented, we simply cannot find any bugs, any data races in that library because we cannot observe the events that come from that library. So one of the common suggestions is that somehow you might be able to get an instrumented version of this library. Sometimes that's possible, sometimes it's not. But if you do, now you are able to detect data races in this library as well. But notice that oftentimes a data race in a library does not necessarily mean that it's a bug in that library because the library can expect that the user of the API actually has to ensure some threat safety. It's, it's a part of the API contract. So the bug actually might be here in the executable. It's a bug of the client of the API. And what we would really like to have is some sort of checking on the API boundary. So Threat Sanitizer now has that. We have new APIs that um, to new callbacks in Threat Sanitizer for libraries to inform about reads and writes of high-level objects. So here's the two new APIs called TSEN external read and TSEN external write. And you have to provide an address of an object that you want to be checked for threat safety. By object, I mean basically any type of object that your application works with. Arrays, maps, graph nodes, data objects, anything that has an address and you want to check it for threat safety. So here's an example. Core Foundation is a popular library that ships on Mac OS, and it provides APIs for a lot of things, including arrays. So here's, an, here's APIs that create an array, append a value into an array, or give you the number of elements in an array. These APIs expect that the user provides threat safety. So the user has to make sure that they don't call, let's say, two mutating APIs at the same time for multiple threads. So what the Core Foundation team did is that they inserted these callbacks into the API. So CF array append value, which modifies the array, now calls TSEN external write. And the other function, which just reads from the array, calls TSEN external read. And in those callbacks, we provide the pointer to the array, so the, the address of the array that we want to check. And that's basically all we had to do to be able to start finding races against this API that I'm presenting here. So notice that we're talking about production code here. So we actually need to be need, need to call these callbacks conditionally only when the TSEN code is present. We're not actually shipping a separate version of the library. This is actually code that lives in the in the production code. And that now it means that we can now detect if a program uses CF arrays in a threat unsafe way, and we can report it in and present a detailed report about it, including the description of the problem. So it's a race on a library object the type of the object that we're dealing with here. And notice that the two stack traces that explain where the two events happened, they show the API call, not some memory allocation or not, not some memory read or write that we're racing on. It's actually, we're actually providing the APIs that you're racing, which is exactly what we want to show. You, you have a race against the API of the objects. So there's a bit, bit more details that I don't have time to go into, like we have tags that you can use to identify the objects. You need to provide some call or PC, and you probably want to use weak imports and detect threat sanitizer. So if you want to know about some details, please contact either me or the threat sanitizer mailing list, and we will be glad to give you more details. Last point I want to make is this is already being used by Foundation and Core Foundation on macOS, and also by Swift to find bugs in user's code if the programs are using value types in a threat unsafe way. So 
If you are developing a popular library that is used in multi-threaded programs, please consider adopting these APIs because they will help your users find more bugs in their code. Thank you.